This is Mark from the QuickBooks team. Setting up QuickBooks Online Payroll to automatically file and pay your payroll taxes for you is a bit different if you have already paid employees this year. Let's go over how to enter this year's pay information for both your employees and your company, and then how to set up your payroll taxes. Note that if you haven't already paid your employees yet this year, use this other video link to set up your QuickBooks Online Payroll. Okay. Let's get started with payroll setup if you have paid employees this year. To begin, go to Payroll, then Overview. Note your navigation may look like this. Then, next to Tell us about your team, select Let's Go. If you already have employees listed, you'll see them here. You can also add employees here. We'll link to steps on how to add employees at the end of this video in case you need it. To enter your employee's pay, go to How much did you pay this employee this year? Select Enter prior year pay details and follow the prompts. Answer a couple questions on when you paid your employee. Now, fill in how much you've paid for your employee so far this year. Then, Enter the amounts you paid them for previous quarters. You can find this information on pay stubs or in your payroll reports from your previous payroll solution. Make sure to fill in all the different pay types and taxes to make sure you have accurate year-end W-2s. Select Continue when you're ready, and then select Done when you're finished. Select Add Employee and you'll repeat these steps for all employees you paid this year, even if they don't work for you anymore. Select Continue when you have all your employees' info entered. Next, it's time to enter in your company info so we can file taxes with the government. This includes the official name of your company that you use for filing, your official address, and so on. Click Continue when you're finished. Fill in your federal tax details, including your EIN, which payroll tax forms you file with the IRS, and how often you pay your payroll taxes. Then select Continue. Now, fill in all the details for each state you're required to pay and file taxes. If you're unsure about your pay and file requirements, you may need to contact the IRS or state agencies. When you're finished, select Continue. Next, You'll need to fill in your payroll details for each pay date in the current quarter. Fill in the total amounts that you've paid to all employees for each pay date, including wages, deductions, other pay items, and taxes. When you're done, select Continue. Repeat this for each pay date in the current quarter. Once everything is complete, select Continue. Then select Continue Setup. Now you have all your employee and payroll info set up. Nice work. 